services for a special project cooked up by the president himself. What? Why me? I'm not in the military. I, I'm nobody. Exactly. You're nobody. Nobody to us. You're going back to 1968 to steal a briefcase from the mob. <laughs> Is this a joke? All this crazy beating and dragging me around for a joke? Hey, you better quit laughing and start paying attention. Because in less than 60 seconds, you'll be in 1968. Hey there, have a nice fall. Look around closely. It's 1968. In 10 seconds, you'll see a guy. Samson is his name. He will have a briefcase. I see him. Get that briefcase by any means necessary. By any means necessary, huh? I guess that's why I have this gun in my pocket. From what intel we've gathered on you, a loaded gun is another day at the office. Ah, business as usual with Samson. He should be there any minute. Yes, sir. I always breathe a little easier when it's him. I was dreaming about dogs last night, and kind of funny. What I got out of it was I realized the value of loyalty. You know, I don't care what you were dreaming about. Stay sharp. Anything can go down in these situations. You know the deal. you'll see two gentlemen in suits and hats with a duffel bag. And that bag is full of money. One million to be exact, which is a hell of a lot of money for 68. Get ready to move. Our intel suggests the mob is going to turn on the guy. If you can, get some intel from one of them, ask him where he's taking the briefcase. Okay, gentlemen, I believe that sums it up. As you know, this will be my last job. Been uh, business as usual. It's a shame. Best in the biz, in my opinion. We're gonna miss you, buddy. Yep. Business as usual. I'll move. What do you plan on doing with that briefcase? Go to hell. Intel was a no-go. What now? Very impressive. All right, take the briefcase to Motel Sunrise. Go to room number 285. The key to the room is in your pocket. We've got big plans for you. Get used to it here. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. I got